All right, I'm back. I got a new computer, and you're hearing the sound of my voice. And my gosh, does this sound terrible. Seriously, this is what my voice sounds like? And did anyone tell me? Anywho, welcome to the sketch log. My name is Tegan Dumpleton, aka SlugLady28. I write, I draw pretty pictures to go with that writing. I generally talk about really nerdy stuff and do reviews on this site. I do all my other artwork on this site, and hopefully I'll be doing something pretty soon with this site. <clears throat> I usually do text reviews, but I thought I'd try something a little different today after going through a very long and painful hiatus. And of course, as per usual, I am extremely late, so let's do something quick today, shall we? Let's get started with a very small topic about one of my favorite superheroines. Yep, I'm talking about Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's the other thing you're gonna need to know about me. I am a gigantic Wonder Woman fangirl. If you already knew this, you're probably face palming. Yeah, I end up talking about Wonder Woman a lot. I swear I am going to talk about other stuff besides Wonder Woman this year. Got a couple things lined up. But for now, join me today as I talk about one of my favorite weapons in Wendy's arsenal, the Lasso of Truth. This is not the first time I brought up the Lasso of Truth. Why do I talk about it so much? Gee, maybe because many writers and many fans think of it as bat shark repellent? When it probably is one of the most scariest weapons in the entire DC universe. Oh! You think I'm kidding, do you? <laughs> See, some people think that the Lasso of Truth is literally just a lie detector. Or an innuendo for bondage jokes. Or an excuse to make the members of the Justice League say something stupid or insulting. When really, it's all those things, and so much more. But first, quick backstory I've already covered in other reviews. William Marston, the creator of Wonder Woman, was also the creator of what eventually became the Polygraph, that lie detector you see pop up in every crime show ever. And likewise, he also gave Wonder Woman her own version of the Polygraph, the Golden Lasso of Truth. There's been a few versions of the Golden Lasso's origin, but the most popular is that it was forged by the gods from an Amazonian relic, the Magic Golden Girdle of Gaia. Yes, you heard me correctly. A magic golden girdle. Try saying that five times fast. Yes, it sounds silly, but it's from the labors of Hercules, so just go with it. The girdle was formed into a rope, enter your own bondage joke here, blessed with the power of truth, and given to the chosen warrior of the Amazons, this being Wonder Woman. And history was made. I'm going to go ahead and stick a small disclaimer right here, because most of the stuff I'm talking about has come out of the modern age. Think 1980s to today. So despite the fact that the lasso does have some control over people, it can't enslave people and can't force them to do something that they have no ability to do. Kind of like how hypnotism really works. But as I said, it's much more than a pretty little lie detector. Wonder Woman's Golden Lasso can give the wielder the ability to know all of your secrets. Not just the things you don't want to tell other people, but also the lies you tell yourself. Think about it. Every dark thought you have ever had, even accidental, is laid bare. So it can be used as a physical weapon, in Wonder Woman's hands it's also a tool for mercy and diplomacy, as well as a way to show the truths that people refuse to see. She wants to use it to take down Ares, the god of war, when he tried to create a nuclear war on the planet. She did this not by fighting, but by showing him how empty of victory this would be. Earth would continue to fight until there was no more people, and without people, the gods would die. It's a dangerous power to have in the wrong hand. Imagine someone showing you your most painful memories, making you relive them over and over again. Check out Rise of the Olympians by Gail Simone if you want to know what I'm talking about. Warning, this book is really dark. 
Superman, gods, and even Wonder Woman herself has succumbed to the power of the lasso. So the power is actually a bit more sporadically when dealing with something that either has no capacity for truth or beings that can manipulate truth. It's virtually indestructible, can stretch like an elastic, and is incredibly strong, able to stand up to Superman and even once managed to pull the Earth. Really. And on one of the few times that it broke, the lasso also took all of truth in the universe with it. Pretty much breaking all of reality. Yeah. But that's just the stuff you can look up on Wikipedia. See, it's not just the item itself that's important, but Wonder Woman's relationship to the lasso that is a key part of her character. And Wonder Woman's relationship to Lasso is much more similar to, well, um, the Doctor and his TARDIS. Okay, maybe it's not that deep. She won't be calling the Lasso sexy anytime soon. But my point is that it's not just a tool for her to use, it's a partner. Wonder Woman respects the Lasso. She doesn't act almighty because she can use the true power of the Lasso at any time, and she doesn't abuse that power either. The lasso is a gift, and she respects the power that she has been given. And there's even been a few stories that, um, well, they don't imply that the lasso is a living thing, but it has been implied on some occasions that the lasso can understand Wendy's commands and that it can tell if the bearer is worthy of their power, or if they have the capacity for truth, as if it was alive. I guess the more accurate comparison is the wands from Harry Potter. Terrible, nerdy metaphors aside, the lasso is an iconic item. I've talked about iconic symbols before, back when I talked about Power Girl. They're the symbols we think of when we think of these characters, the things we associate them with. So even if some people think that the lasso is kind of a silly concept, or they wonder why someone that's Greek pantheon based is using a Wild West tool, and seriously guys, get over it. The Wild West just made lassos popular. It didn't invent the lasso knot. It doesn't change the fact that this is what people think of when they think Wonder Woman. It's like how some people still think of Linda Carter or the Invisible Plane when we think Wonder Woman. And no, I am not going to talk about the Invisible Plane. Uh, <laughs> that thing gets a new origin every time the writer changes. Not only that, but a lot of Wonder Woman symbolism you can find in the lasso. Wonder Woman's capacity for truth, her wish for non-violence, and yes, even the incredibly outdated bondage jokes. Some of the best stories that are constantly recommended by fans and constantly brought up over and over again use the lasso to its full potential. This doesn't necessarily mean that a story that doesn't feature the lasso is a bad story, far from it. The problems only really seem to arise when writers either outright ignore it or misuse it or, or they totally forget that you have a friggin' lie detector strapped to the main character's hip and therefore you don't need to beat people up for information. Okay, okay, we already know how terrible the pilot was, I'll leave it alone now. But when the lasso is mentioned in stories, it should feel like it has a presence there. Like it's not just something strapped to Wonder Woman's hip all the time. It should have weight in the story, importance even a little bit, as if it is a character of its own, in a narrative sense anyway. And hey, there is a reason why it shows up in every single version of Wonder Woman ever. Uh, usually. Okay. Forget what I said about terrible, nerdy metaphors, and stick with me for a second. How cool it would be if a writer totally went all doctor's wife for an issue, and the lasso temporary gains sentience, or possesses a human for an issue, and then goes on a short adventure with Wonder Woman. They have to work together while bickering back and forth like estranged sisters. 
maybe fighting enemies that want to control the Lassifer themselves, throw in some cameos from the Justice League members that have way too many secrets, and then you have truth and reality hanging in the balance, and then in the end, the bond between the Lasso and Wonder Woman becomes stronger than ever? Okay, maybe not. What? I'm having Doctor Who withdrawal since the season finale, okay? Alright, so that's it for now. Ugh. Hey. I just realized something. Since I was on hiatus, I missed April Fools. Which means I never got turned into a pony. Ah, sparkles. <laughs>